but I am. But I, so we're just going to have fun. All right. I really want everyone to know that this is a very interactive class. And this is hilarious because I got my screen screen. Okay. So here, you want to see something funny? Can you see? Oh, I guess you can't see it. So I've got this green screen thing that attaches to the back of my chair, right? And so you can't see it because it's all perfect. But anyway, there's like a whole new level with all these Zoom conferences of getting equipment going so you can do some professional looking videos. So this green screen back behind me so you can see my little logo and stuff. I've got two big lighting things up here on my desk because behind me is a window with backlighting and I look like an Oompa Loompa for Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory when I don't have the lighting on me. <laughs> so, so right? Who can relate to that? Yeah? Can everyone relate to looking like an Oompa Loompa? Totally, right? <laughs> So what I want to do is I want this to be interactive. I want you guys to actually participate with me, okay? So I could lecture at you, but I'd actually like to have you guys engage. And if you're not comfortable with having a lot of people with their microphones activated, let's use the chat, okay? So we're going to use the chat to communicate with each other and to make sure that we got it, okay? And I'm also going to be like looking at raised hands and that kind of stuff. Okay, who's got their phone on them? Yes? Got your phone on you, great, okay, wonderful. By show of hands, who has Instagram loaded on their phone and active and ready to use, yes? Yes, okay, if you are not raising your hand, all you have to do, sweetheart, is just go to the app store on your phone. Go to the app store, oh gosh, look, it's not even showing. Go to the app store, do this with me, and then just go to search and type in Instagram, okay? Instagram is going to allow you to do videos for less than a minute and you can share it instantly on your on your Instagram channel. So it's not hard. Just go ahead and download that. Here's a little secret. It's going to log or it's going to download it as your personal profile first. You can then after you've signed up and you've done everything, you can convert it into a business profile, tack it onto your business page that you have on Facebook and the two can talk together, okay? So for those of you who are not typing in and looking up Instagram and downloading on your phone, who already has Instagram and Facebook linked to their business profile pages? Yeah, okay, yes, yes, I see Brooke. Yay, Brooke, she's on it. Megan's on it, okay, great. Anybody else? Okay, good. So that's something that you guys wanna do, because here's the thing, when you set things up early, you can just set it and almost forget it. Like you don't have to worry about it. And if you're not feeling comfortable doing it, get somebody who's under age 30 in your office or in your family to help you do this. But it's not hard, okay? No video, I look like a drowned rat. Oh, come on, you're hilarious. Okay, <laughs> okay. The other thing I want you to do is, does everyone have the YouTube, the YouTube icon? Oh, shoot, come on, Jen, come on. Do you have the YouTube icon on your phone? Yes? Raise your hands. I want to see it. Yeah. Okay, great. If you do not have YouTube, go again to your app store on your phone, download YouTube. I mean, I would assume that 90% of you have YouTube app on your phone because we're all killing time when we're standing in line in Target. Yes? Yes? Who's killing time in the lines that they're standing in at the, at the grocery store or at Target? Yes, exactly. Hand raised. Totally. I see that. Okay, great. Now, who has TikTok? TikTok is the coolest, hottest, newest thing. Do you have hit TikTok? Raise your hands or say, I do. Yeah. Okay. Download that sucker. Come on, baby. Get in here, go to your app store, and I want you to go to TikTok. Everything I'm showing you is for free, okay? So if you're gonna do a video, you gotta make sure that you have the apps that are going on, right? If anything, I have to warn you, a TikTok is addictive. It's kind of like a fine wine. Once you start liking it, you might want to have more and more of it. So just be prepared when you start looking at TikTok. It's entertaining. It's super fun. It's silly. And you're going to see two hours of your life just pass by like that. But I promise you'll be entertained. <laughs> and there aren't as many commercials as there are on the television, right? Okay, great. Now, um, and then of course, everyone does have Facebook on their phone, yes? Raise hands, yes, okay, good. At least you guys are in that, okay, good, good. Now, how many of you guys use Facebook Live? Hands, yep, nobody's using Facebook Live. Okay, but you kind of know how to use it, yeah? You kind of know how to use it? Okay, all you have to do is just when, you're, when it says, what are you doing? You know, what's your update? What's your status update? 
you can hit the live button and you can just show that right there. That's how a lot of citizen journalists are sharing their news, right? Okay, good. All right, so everyone has Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook on their phones. Yes, excellent. That is a first step. Congratulations, you can pat yourself on the back. Good, I have everything. <laughs> I have everything I need. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of my screen share. And I'm going to share you my little presentation. Now, oh darn it, the, the chat though, when I'm in the presentation, I can't see the chat. So uh, Brenda, if anybody's saying anything really exciting that is going on in the chat and I can't see it, could you please bring it to my attention since I can't do both? Okay. All right, my darlings. So here is the five steps to get your message out quickly. Okay, I want this to be interactive because for me, I tend to fall asleep, especially after I've just eaten lunch with heavy lectures, right? We don't wanna be tired. We want to be energized and we wanna know that we can indeed take this that I teach you and apply it right now, okay? So some of you might decide, oh, I just wanna watch, but really my goal is I want you to feel like, yes, I've got this and I actually have videos that I can start recording at the end of this lesson, okay? So there we go. We are going to, number one, figure out what you wanna say. Number two, tips on how to shoot your video with some do's and don'ts. Number three, create educational, entertaining, and engaging videos. Number four, give your audience something of value that they can use right away. Because here's the deal. There's commercials and there's videos. You scroll past the commercials, yes, yes? You don't wanna see those commercials, right? Right? But when you have videos that are entertaining, engaging, and uh, educational, and you can actually get some value out of them, who sees those videos? Who stops and sees those videos? Raise your hands, yep, yep. You actually stop when you see something that's interesting, right? Great. And number five, decide on your call to action. You can only ask them for something after you've given them something. You following me? So I'm not showing you how to do spammy stuff. I'm not showing you how to make a commercial. I'm showing you how to create entertaining, engaging, and educational videos that are useful so they fall in love with you and they only wanna do business with you. Is that sounding good, everybody? Yes, yes? Okay, good, yay, I'm so glad. Because if somebody says, no, Jen, I just want them to, you know, <laughs> stay at arm's length, screw them. <laughs> okay, so a lot of times people say, Jen, I don't wanna do a video because I have no idea what to say. Well, my darlings, I have ideas for you right here, okay. You can talk about who you are and what you do. So for example, do you have any specialties? Okay, so who's got, just raise your hands, let's see. I kinda wanna, gosh, I wish I could see everybody and can I do it like that? Hold on, let me make my, can I make my thing bigger? Oh good, I can make my thing bigger. Okay, great, great. Okay, show of hands, who has specialties in their shops? Yes? Yes, okay, great. Talk about those specialties. Yes, thank you, Sin, I love the, the thumbs up. Okay, great. So talk about what you're known for. Who of you is known for just being complete superheroes when it comes to the most difficult of diagnostics issues? Yes, yes, or what are you known for? Are you known for just the most exceptional customer service experience? Like everybody who walks through that front door either becomes part of your extended family or part of your community and they know that you pour love into them. Yes, yes, we've got that. How many of you are known for being a multi-generational family business that serves the community and loves on the community? How many of you are known for being female owned? Yes, hello, hello, right? Or at least you have a lot of women in the management and you have women on the front desk, that kind of stuff. So what you wanna do is you wanna talk about who you are, what makes your business special and unique? And then, you know, you can also record videos talking about what customers have to say about you. You can ask your favorite customers, hey, I've got you here. We just delivered your car to you and you seem pretty happy. Are you cool with me shooting a video? And they'll be like, sure, I'd love to talk about you. Take advantage of that. That is called social proof. And you definitely wanna use that. But here's also too, show the world how you are involved with your community, right? 
did you do anything exciting or giving or helpful during the time of COVID, right? How many of you had like the touchless uh, drop-offs and pick up and delivery, yes? Okay, good, good. How many of you did your best to wipe down things extra and sterilize everything as much as possible? Exactly, exactly. How many of you uh, set up systems to where they didn't even have to see a person? They just, they just got their car serviced because you had it just going on, you were dialing it in, perfect. And how many of you have success stories how people who were scared were so grateful and feeling better because they worked with your shop. Yes, yes, especially when they, everybody else was closed or they didn't know where to turn and their car's not working. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. So another thing about what to share is what is your why? Now, those of you who have had me work with them in the past doing their social media or their search engine optimization, I ask the question a lot, what is your why? Brian knows this, I, I grilled him on this when we did his content. You know, because we all have something that makes us get up out of bed, right? Especially when things are, are dire or dark or things are just not working well, right? And we're scared, right? We don't want to get out of bed. But there's something that gets us out of bed every single day. What is that? Is it your kids? Is it, is it your faith? Is it a dream that you had when you were a kid? Is it the fact that you have a family legacy? It was easy for me to say. A family legacy for you to protect. There are so many different things that could be your why. And here's the thing. Our why changes as we get older, right? So my why when I was in my 20s is different from my why here in my 40s. And then I'm sure it will be different when I'm in my 60s because we all have a different thing that we need to do and to serve, right? So talk about your why because when you show your authenticity, people love you and they want to do business with you. Got it? Okay, any questions about step one? Did I give you enough material about what to say? Yes, yes? Okay, great. All right, step two. Let's talk about some of the do's and don'ts. Okay, oops, sorry, that was, that was not intended. I'm trying to get my little screen moved over. Hold on, come on. Oh heck, I can't see my own screen because of my, um, oh well, it's okay, I'll figure it out. Okay, lighting tips. So I've got lighting up here. If you want to, you can purchase a little lighting thing that goes on your phone. It's, a, it's called a selfie ring light. And it's a little LED light and it actually hooks to the phone. So check this out, it's like a, it's like a giant, um, gosh, I have to put this in front of me. It's like a, it's like a Pac-Man, look, it's like, a, it's like a paper clip, right? And you attach it to your phone, so when you are doing your own selfie, this ring highlights you and you don't look like an Oompa Loompa, okay? And this little LED thing is like super easy and you can just shut it off and it has a little USB thing to charge it, so there's that. There's audio tips, okay, I'm plugged in here, so then that way when the plumber does eventually show up, <laughs> you won't hear it, right? But I also have like a snowball microphone, like there's different things. If you, if, who, how many of you guys have ever been on Carm Capriato's uh, um, Town Hall Academy? Oh, yeah, there you go, several of you. Okay, so I'm gonna be, by the way, I'm gonna be on his Town Hall Academy tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, so hopefully you'll join us there. We're gonna be talking about what's new in social media. And Carm is smart, he's a smart man because he recognizes that for potty, uh, audio and podcast, you've gotta have good sound, right? So he's had this whole, ch this whole checklist, like, okay, if you're gonna be on my program, you need to have this, this lighting, this audio, that kind of thing. And he has some recommendations for a good headset. So if you'd like me to, I'd be happy to share what he recommends as far as audio goes. Okay, and tripods. Okay, so I've got this little tripod. It's a little, it's a little, um, uh, you know what? Let me, uh, uh, let me get to, let me stop the share real second. I'm gonna go to this because I'm tired of my, um, my virtual background making everything disappear. So here's my green screen thing. Look at this. Is this thing huge? This is like a Game of Thrones kind of thing. <laughs> anyway, so this is my this is my selfie stick. And so you put your phone in here, and then you can telescope it, right? You can you can make it stand up, right? I got this and the little selfie ring, and I even got a little lavalier microphone. I got all of this on Amazon for like 40 bucks. It really is not difficult. And the, the thing is, is that the selfie stick is pretty easy 
because if I, if I put my phone in here, I can either film myself like this, see how I can film it like this, or I can set it up on a desk, right? And I can telescope it and prop it up, right? I'm sure you've seen that kind of stuff, but it's super easy because I noticed that whenever I hold the camera in my hand while I'm filming, it can get a little shaky, especially if I'm doing it for a long period of time. So having, especially if you're gonna show off something that's going on in your, um, like say for example, you wanna do a demonstration of how to check the fluids and you wanna do a, a car care clinic kind of thing in a quick little bit for a video. Just make sure that it's stable, it's not shaking around, okay? Also ever, too, yeah, go ahead. Is it best to film vertical or horizontal like that as opposed to vertical? Ah, it depends on the platform. Great question, honey. So if you're on Instagram, it tends to want you to do it this way. If you're on Facebook, it tends to want you to do it this way. Same thing with YouTube. So Instagram, they've said, oh, heck, we'll just go ahead and do it this way because that's the way our platform is, is designed. But everybody else wants it this way. So there you go. And here's, here's another little uh, professional tip. If you start pushing the recording button and then you decide halfway through that it's going to go this way, well, you've kind of screwed yourself because, because now everyone's going to be doing this when they're trying to watch your video. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So also too, and thanks for asking the questions. Guys, jump in. Seriously, jump in and ask questions. I'm not offended at all. I want this to be interactive. So best angles for your face and body. Okay. The way I've got this set up, I'm on my Mac PC. I'm, I'm on my desktop. And I have it to where my Mac is actually up on a stand and then I'm looking into the camera and it's above my eye level. You know why? Because if I pat it down any lower, then you get to see this right here. Who's got this, right? Girls, you know what I'm talking about, right? How many times have you looked at yourself in a video and you've looked down and you're like, damn, I look 20 years older than I really am. Yeah, it's the angles, girls and boys. So make sure the angle is at eye level or just a little bit higher? Because none of us really wanna show the COVID-19 pounds we've been gaining, right? Yeah, yeah, you follow me? Yeah, I know, I've gained this. How can yoga pants be tight, right? No, I they're tight, it's painful. Okay, <laughs> moving right along. So minimize your ums and ahs in your speech if you can, because there are organizations that will help you improve your, your comfort in doing public speaking. You can try Toastmasters, and they have this wonderful awe counter where they start counting all your ahs and ums. If you can get rid of the ahs and ums, you will do yourself a good favor. Another thing is to curse or not to curse. Depending on my audience, I curse. I like it. It's kind of fun. Sometimes my audience is not the place to curse. So it's really up to you. So decide who you are. Do you want your authenticity to shine? And you can decide from there whether or not you should curse. Okay, consider practicing beforehand. It does not have to be perfect. How many of you are perfectionists and you just do not want to see it go up in the public until it is absolutely perfect? Oh, good. Oh, oh we have one perfectionist. All right. Okay, you, you know, I get you. And you know, like whenever I do a voicemail recording on the, on the voicemail, right? I've, I've done it like five times because I can't stand the way my voice, you know, <laughs> right, right. Okay, here's the deal. It's called editing. Don't worry about being perfect. Just go ahead and film it and you can edit that out. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to shoot it 10 times. It's okay, just edit. Or if you really hate it, just do it over, but don't worry about perfection because you can fix a lot in the editing. Also too, if you do have a long message and you want it to sound really ideal and perfect, get yourself a little teleprompter app. In fact, you can go to your apps. In fact, who's got, who would need a teleprompter? I have needed a teleprompter before, I have, because I was re recording an online course and I had a lot to say and I wanted to make sure that I didn't miss out anything. And what's cool about the teleprompter thing is that it will, it, it, it makes you look where the camera is, but then it also has the words right by the camera so you don't look like you're reading off of something. Is that slick or what? So teleprompter app is gonna help you out if your message is long. And then you were asking, how long should the video be 
it's entirely up to you. Okay, what is your goal with the video, right? If it's a little tiny, cute commercial, then 15 to 20 seconds is really all you need, truly, right? If you are explaining how to do something, if you can keep it under five minutes, fine. But then you might be recording a, a round table or you might re be recording a session of uh, an auto care clinic that you're doing online and it can be a long form. So don't worry too much about length. Just figure out what is it that I want to do with it. And even if you do get something nice and long, guess what? You can chop it up into bits and little bite-sized pieces through the editing process. Yes, yes? Okay, cool. Now, editing tips. Here's the deal. Editing, there's a lot of self-editing going on right here in your video functions in your phone, right? Here's my suggestion. There's a lot to get into and I don't have the time to do it today. I would Google video editing tips on my phone. Got that? Video editing tips on my phone. Write that down. And then that way you're gonna take it looking from amateur to professional. You're gonna thank me for this, okay? Cool, all right. Any questions about the do's and don'ts? Did I miss anything? You good? Okay, moving on. Step three, okay. Here's the meat of it. Remember I talked a little bit about spam and I really am not saying that let's all just make a bunch of commercials. Okay, how many of you feel like taking a shower after you have been like just showered with so many ads? Like, isn't it annoying? <laughs> like you're watching something good, whether it be on television or YouTube or whatever, and there's an ad that interrupts it. And you're just like, right? So here's how you never do that ever, ever. What you want to do is you want to create something educational, entertaining, and engaging. So let me share my screen again. More. Oh, geez. Come on. Where's my, where's my feature? There it is. Share screen. Okay. Going back to this. Sharing the screen. Can you guys see my screen? Yes? Yep. Okay. Street, screen sharing. Okay, great. So what videos can you make that are educational? Okay. This is where I want you guys to talk to me. Talk to me. What can you create about your shop that is educational? Anyone? Oh, come on. Don't be shy. Come on. Okay. Where's the chat? Does anybody have the chat going on in there? Am I missing it? See, this is the problem. I can't, I can't see the chat when I'm sharing my screen. Okay. If you're not going to talk to me, I'll share with some ideas. Okay, great. How about how do breaks work? Would that be a good educational video that you could do? Yes. Yes. How about um, how to do an oil change? Would that be educational? Yes. How many of you are afraid to do an oil change video because you're afraid they're going to do it themselves? Anyone? Anyone? Trust you know, me. Do you know the best part of doing one of those, Jennifer? What? Is after they see you do it, they go, I don't want any part of that. That's exactly right, Brian. You got it. Yes. Yeah. I'm one of those. I'm one of those. I like to be educated and informed, but I don't want to do the work. So I will watch all kinds of videos as to how to do something, and I'll be like, yeah, that's why I'm hiring a pro. <laughs> right? Does anyone yeah. relate to that one? Yeah, bricklaying, painting your house, plumbing your house. You guys know me. Yeah, right? Yeah, you don't want to do that. You hire a professional, even though you want to be educated as to how to do it. Also, too, what videos can you make that are entertaining? Oh, my gosh, there's so many different ways to be entertaining. It, you can be silly. How many of you have even seen TikTok? Yes? Have you seen TikTok at least? Okay, good. You know how silly it can be, right? But it's fun. And that's the thing. It's like, I saw, I saw a really great TikTok video where a tech in a shop is pushing his toolbox around doing the moonwalk. It was a short video. It was silly. It had the funny music in the background, but you know what? It got a lot of views because it was silly and, and it was entertaining and there's nothing wrong with that. Also, what videos can you make that are engaging? Well, when we talked about your why earlier, that is engaging because you're, you're sharing what makes you want to succeed, what makes you get into this industry, what makes you want to make the world a better place, 
one auto repair at a time. So those kind of videos where you share who you are and how you want to support your community and the good news and the good stories that you've done of helping somebody who was in a, who was in a world of hurt with their car and you turned their lemons and made it into lemonade, that is something that's engaging. And it can also be educational and, and entertaining. It can, all, it can be the three E's all in one if you want it to be. Just make sure that you're creating something that shares who you are. Here are some other tips. Create videos that are helpful. Create videos that have accurate information. Create videos that are timely. There's a lot going on right now. Do you have something that you want to say that is timely? And it, it, you know, there are evergreen things, which are the things that will last forever. And then there are the things that are, you know, it's, it's good for two days and then it's perishable. What about a video where you talk about something that is compassionate? Like some of you might be involved in programs or fundraisers where you guys are donating cars to the homeless or donating cars to a food bank. So then that way you can raise money to feed the hungry or you are supporting some of the schools through a fundraiser or maybe adopting pets through a, a fundraiser or a barbecue that you put on. There are so many different things that you can do that are talking about compassion. And then also too, show your humanity. Show your humanity. That is what the world needs right now because we're all in a mode where we want to heal. So show your humanity. Okay, tips on how to shoot your video with the do's and don'ts. Okay, share that knowledge. If you can, share a downloadable checklist. Oh my gosh, how many of you have ever seen like a video course and they had like a cheat sheet that you could download? Yeah, that's like super helpful. In fact, I think we have one for you guys now. Brenda, can we possibly share it with them? It is a video release form that I've created for you guys. And so what I've created is, you know how like it, the rules are, if you're gonna video something, ideally you want everyone to sign off on it, that yes, it's okay to use my image, yes, it's all right to have me participate in this video promotion. Well, I have a release form for you that is generic and I created it for you. And I think we have it in PDF format, but if not, we're gonna have you send me an email, jenniferfilzen at gmail.com. Once again, that's jenniferfilzen at gmail.com and I'll be happy to share that Google Doc with you. But yeah, downloadable checklists, cheat sheets, forms, anything that you can do to make their lives easier after you've entertained them, engaged them, and educated them. Also too, share an invitation to a future event. Make them laugh. Oh, oh my gosh, make them laugh, right? Does the world need humor right now? Yes, they sure do, yes. And then also too, give them a promo code for a discount. Hey, you wanna come over for brake repair after I've shown you how brakes work? We've got a promo, use this promo code and we'll be happy to knock off X amount of dollars on this particular thing. So, is this helpful? Yes, yes? Yep, good, okay, good. I still see that you guys are awake and nodding. This makes me so happy. <laughs> okay, now, once you are nearing the finish line of what it is that you want to say, make sure that there is a call to action, right? You can only ask them for something after you have given them something of value. So what is the goal of your video? Are you just gonna inform them about something or do you want them to participate in something? What is it that you're gonna do? You can ask them to donate to a charity you can challenge them to do something like, oh my gosh, okay, I don't know if you guys would know them, but Carl and Maureen Hutchinson of Complete Automotive in Springfield, Missouri, they've got this push-up challenge with their techs. And so every day they are, all of them are doing push-ups and, and they're trying to see, and I, I tell you what, I'm exhausted just watching them, <laughs> right? But they're doing push-ups and it's for fitness, right? And so now they're challenging They've, they've challenged their own team. Do you want to participate in this physical fitness challenge? And we, we do push-ups every day. And now they're starting to challenge other shops to see if the other shops are going to beat them. Everyone loves a good challenge. It's a great way to stay in shape during COVID when they can't go to the gym. By the way, here in California, gyms are starting to open up as of tomorrow, the 12th. What about Washington State? What about Oregon? Are you guys, your gyms? Nope, not gonna happen. Okay, great, push-ups. <laughs> not for a while. <laughs> it's gonna be a little while. Yeah, I'm surprised that they're opening up tomorrow, but oh well, somebody must have like, you know, knocked on somebody's door and said, please open. 
So anyway, uh, request them to schedule an appointment. You want more clients, right? So ask them to schedule an appointment after you've told them about you. Invite them to send you an email. Ask them to text you. Oh my gosh, texting. Texting is wonderful. You know how easy it is. You know how it's a wonderful way to participate and communicate. So please ask them to text you, tell them to call you, whatever it is, make them an offer they cannot refuse. That is your call to action. We want them to take action. Because if you don't, you've created this great video and then what do they do, right? If you're doing brand awareness, that's totally cool. You don't need to ask them to do anything, but I want you to think about what can I do to ask them to do something or join me in this thing or whatever, yeah? Sound good? Okay, great. All right, so the next action items are, whoops, plan out your first video, record it, and I want you to post it on this Facebook group page. If you go to Facebook, here, let me go to Facebook. This is my Rockstar Marketing Resources. I've got some great tips and tricks for you. I'm gonna go to Facebook. I'm gonna find this thing. And it's under here somewhere. Rockstar Marketing Resources, tips and tricks. So what I want you to do, here's your homework, here's your challenge. I hope you guys join me on this because this will be super fun. I want you to record a little video and I want you to post it here in this. And I think it would be really fun for you to do it. And hmm, should I give you guys a prize? Yeah, you guys want a prize if you participate in this thing? All right, I don't know what the prize is gonna be yet, but whoever participates will get a prize. Sound good? <laughs> All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna go, if you want to, ah, geez. Come on. See, technology, we love it, and sometimes it's not so great. So what you want to do is go to Facebook. You want to go to Rockstar Marketing Resources, Tips, and Tricks. In fact, you know what I'll do? I'll just go ahead and pop it in the chat here. Oops, I'm going to send it to everybody. Okay, cool. Now, that was 39 minutes. We've got some time. I know you have questions. I know I threw a lot at you. Let's talk. What you got for me? What do you want to know? <laughs> crickets you did okay. a fabulous job well okay does, is it, here's the thing i want to inspire you and motivate you to, to start making videos who at least is thinking that they might start okay all right all right all right, all right. that gives me some hope <laughs> i got a question for you okay go for um, it so my my plan actually this the most recent one i want to do is i got a, a car project that i was gonna just like keep people posted on yes is that something you think would interest them yes. I'm, yes. I'm not i'm not like this i don't sit for hours in front of youtube and TikTok and that kind of stuff and so i, I don't really care about it but do you think that would work i think it's brilliant okay first off um so i'm a dance teacher right and everyone asks me, do you watch Dancing with the Stars? I'm like, no, I don't, I don't watch it. I want to do it. See, you want to do it. You don't want to sit around watching someone do it. You want to do it. So you might as well record it, right? Because you're offering value. And also, too, everyone loves a cool project. I mean, just the other night, my husband and I were walking along Cannery Row here in Monterey, and we saw this really nice vintage VW truck that was just beautifully restored and everyone was like, oh, I want that. It's gorgeous. And it's like, yeah, it's, it's not a commercial. It's, it's just like, whoo, look at this. And, and people just love seeing projects and seeing transformations. So yes, yes, yes. Do it. Yeah. Thank what you. else you guys got for me? Brian, you were going to say something. Yeah, I was, uh, if nobody else wants to jump in, but, uh, I always, any, anytime you're doing it, um, and you, you know, for instance, we had a little segment going, I took my three daughters and they fired me, you know, so they, they took over the shop and, and anybody who's met the family, I've got, uh, my oldest is 14, middle is 10 and the youngest is six. Well, the youngest became the boss and she, you know, she wore her sunglasses, crazy tiara. And, you know, even I think we've got her in a fur coat one week and, you know, every, every week was a new, a new thing. You know, but man, it, I mean, it, it takes some time, you know, I mean, it's, it's really, it's kind of grueling to do it, but, but you can have a lot of fun with it, you know, and, and I, I think my question is what, 
what software do you recommend for doing the editing? Do you have anything that, that you say, hey, well, this works really well? Because I, I will tell you, I tried a bunch of different ones and I just got frustrated. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, great point. Okay, I use Screen ScreenFlow. Hold on, let me look for it. I just have to make sure that I'm, but I'm on a Mac, right? So yeah, ScreenFlow 8 is what I have. It's, it's got some really great tutorials and uh, I really like it, but that is for Mac. So how many of you guys are Mac users? Yeah, okay, only a couple. Okay, so ScreenFlow 8 is for Mac. As far as PC, I don't remember. I've heard, I've heard some things. Also too, like, okay, so I have to confess. I have a little confession here. I'm married to a graphic artist who is really a whiz at this stuff. So guess what? I record it, I hand it to him, and then he does it. Hey, can we say outsourcing? <laughs> so here's my suggestion to you. Record it, have somebody else do it. I'm serious, I'm serious. There are tons of people within an arm's length of you that you, you don't know that they're talented with video editing, but trust me, anybody under the age of 30 is probably very good at it. Just give them that homework, give them that task. In fact, I'd be willing to put money on it that your techs know how to do it, and why not enroll their help, right? But truly, even if you were to outsource it to a professional, it's really not that difficult. Just put it in your budget because, hey, here's the deal. Videos are effective, okay? How many of you have been sitting here looking at this thing a whole lot more during the COVID area, era than you ever have? Yes, yes, the entire country is on this bad boy more than they ever were, right? Right? So what are they looking at? What are you looking at? The moving images or do you look at the stagnant photos or are you looking at just words let's be realistic it's the video that captures our eye right so even if you were to devote a hundred bucks a month on video editing services from a 16 year old right okay a hundred dollars times 12 that's what 1200 i'm picking numbers out of the air okay but how many customers can you get? Would you call that good ROI? You bet you would, because if you can get multiple eyeballs on that video and you start bringing in a person who needs a brake repair, a person who needs an oil change, just because you were constantly sharing videos, was that $1,200 well spent? Yes, right? You hear me? You with me? Hopefully no one disagrees with that statement. <laughs> okay, cool. What else you got for me? Uh, you, you you said something about it, our technician or some of the technicians. One of my techs, he would wanted to do that. Um, do you set up where they can post on there as well, or does it go through? Yes. Through you first. Well, well, that's up to you. Okay. So, do you want to approve everything to make sure that it has the right look and the right thing? That's totally cool. And yes, you you should do that. When it comes to the social media marketing, though. I do encourage everybody on the team to contribute to the basic news feed and what's going on. So, for example, I've got a, a client who is in Ocala, Florida, and I'm doing all the basic social media stuff, promoting the company, promoting the different things and how they're involved in the community. And their general manager, Chuck, he loves taking pictures of the projects. And he doesn't really have um, the bandwidth to do the uploads himself. So he'll just text me all of the pictures. He's like, ooh, check out this Corvette that we're working on today. Or check out this Maserati. Or look at this classic Sprinter van uh, motor coach that we're working on. Could you please post it? And so the thing is, is that it depends on the level of trust that you have with your team. But if they are, understanding of the guidelines of what it is that you want them to post yeah and they have the freedom to do it and they're going to do it a lot more rapidly than if they have to ask for permission right so just figure out what works best for you in your shop but i would encourage hey everybody let's show the world how awesome we are let's show the world how an oil change truly is done properly Let's show this cool project. Let's show this restoration. Let's show the ins and outs of a compressed engine. I don't know. There's so many different things to talk about. Great question. Does that help? Oh, yeah. Yeah, cool. What else you guys got me? Come on. Come on. Oh, hold on. I see some stuff. Okay. 
How to tell when a repair has been performed correctly? Oh yeah, that's a really good one. How to, yeah, do a video showing them how to tell when a repair has been performed correctly. That is golden. And that way you're not calling out anybody, but you can say, well, at our shop, this is what, these are the steps that we do and here's why we do them. So that's a good one. And Animatica is super easy for Windows. Okay, great. So Bobby, do you want to talk about Animatica, please? It's only oh. been up for a couple of hours. Well, it's almost two o'clock. No. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes. Can you hear me okay? Yes. yes. Oh, good. I was, I was on two, two meetings at the same time. <laughs> He's so popular. So anyway, I, I do some videos. Sony Vegas Pro. How many have I used? I think seven different ones. And man, Anamonica is just so stinking easy to use. You just take the files, upload them file by file, and export it. They're assembled. If you use the right, um, oh, what am I going to say? The uh, um, <laughs> trying to think of the word for it. The right resolution. Yeah. Um, it will fill the screen. Okay, cool. Okay. You know, I'm all about super easy. Is everyone else for super easy? Yes. Two hands up. Yes. Because we have enough on our plates, right? Thank you, Bobby, for sharing that. Okay, mm -hmm. Joel, I see your point. I don't want to use my personal phone and I don't want to use the bosses. Would a tablet work for all this? Yes, yes, and yes. Brilliant. Yes. Use those mobile devices. I think a tablet is a great solution. And the tablet is owned by the business, yes? Now, there will be some uh, interesting things about setting it up. So you're going to have to have somebody's account to set up the Instagram. But everybody el everything else should be pretty solid. So yeah, that would, that would be good. And then a shop doing a short video on the check engine light. Oh, that is so brilliant. Yes, 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 yes. Why, yeah, like the five different reasons why your check engine light might be coming on. That would be a super video. That would be really good. And why it requires diagnostics. Oh my gosh. And if you guys could share with the world and educate them why true diagnostics that you offer versus the diagnostics that they get at the, at the store, you know what I'm talking about, the AutoZones, all the, the advanced, you know, like, oh, well, the diagnostics over there told me this. No, honey. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys can do a video on that, that would be so golden. And don't be afraid to show your superhero status. If you guys are super proficient at something, explain to them. Explain to them why you're so good at this and why you love this and why you are so good at solving these issues because you have this experience and here's it. Like show them what an oscilloscope does. There's so many different ways to entertain them and engage them. Now, don't make it boring. Make it short and don't get them too technical, but make them feel smarter. So like earlier we were saying, watch the video on how to do an oil change so you realize how much work that is and then they go, oh, forget it, I'll just take it to you, right? So don't get so technical that their eyes roll in the back of their head. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, I think a shop doing, oh, I read that one. How do you do business Instagram and not use your personal Instagram? Okay. So you can have a personal profile and you can have a business profile. So you can have two Instagram accounts. One's going to be your personal. That's all you. I've got that. I've got the Jennifer Filzen personal Instagram account. And then I have the Rockstar Marketing business account that is tied in with the Rockstar Marketing Facebook business page. So they're two separate accounts and it's all good. Yeah. So hopefully that helps. You guys are asking some great questions. What else we got? Well, if you get people's cars, do you, I mean, you probably should still get their permission to post all that, correct? It would be a wise idea. Yeah. Um, uh, especially if you're going to, you know, you don't really want to show license tags and that kind of stuff, but you know, generically you could, it, I don't know. I mean, I've, I've never really asked them about their car. Usually I have them sign a release form for them, their personal being, right? But as far as their property goes, I mean, it's like how many Toyotas are out there. Like if they have a really unusual car, like the Batmobile rolls into your shop and the Batmobile wants to get some work, maybe you want to get a release on that one because they might get a little upset if you don't. Why can we not show license plates? 
Great question. You can, but it's recommended that you blur them out. And so if you just make sure that you're filming and you avoid the license tags, it's, it's just going to make things a lot easier. That's privacy issues. Is privacy issues okay? You're driving down the road. I mean, everybody in the world can see it. That's what I've always been concerned, <laughs> confused with. Is like I don't, I don't get it. You know, right? Is well, you know, is? again, it's it's a it's a privacy thing. I mean, some people will have a freak out on you if they see that their car and their license tag is somewhere on a video on your web page. Like, you know, it's just covering yourself, right? It's more so, of a personal thing for them. Gotcha. Okay. It's right. not a legal thing at all by any means. It's just, yeah. yeah it's respect. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Oh, no, this is great. Anybody else got anything? Because I know it's 152, and I was told to make it like the whole hour, but if it's okay, I just got a couple of things I want to share. Is that cool? Are we all mm -hmm. done with questions and then I can share a little bit? Okay, cool. Okay. So I have some things coming up um, tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific time. I'm going to be on the Town Hall Academy with Carm Capriato and Kim Walker and Carrie Lynn Rodenberg. And we're going to be talking about social media marketing now that things are starting to open up after the initial COVID close down. So feel free to join us on that. That would be super fun to see you all there. The other thing that I have coming up is I'm doing the same thing for Milwaukee on the 18th. So if you didn't get enough of me, just, you know, see me again <laughs> and we'll have a good laugh that, you know, we needed to hear it twice. <laughs> so join me on that on the 18th. That's going to be 5 p.m. Pacific time and then 7 p.m. Central time, right? But then there's a couple other things that I want to offer to you guys. Um, we have a virtual summit. So let me show you what I've got here. Um, uh, I think Brenda's going to share this on the chat, but let me just share my screen. So the uh, webinar is um, uh, an event. It's a three-part series. I've got the first one coming up uh, June 24th. And I know that I've been wanting to write a book for a while. I've already written a couple books, but this one has been on my heart because I know that after writing SEO content for this industry for 10 years. I have some wonderful stories about the different things that the champion level shops do to make raving fans out of their clients, right? It can be anything from like a bag of popcorn, that little microwave popcorn that you leave in the driver's seat that says thanks for popping by to, um, you know, the uh, concierge service where you'll pick up and deliver their vehicle without even worry about it. A lot of you guys have seen this for COVID, but like prior to COVID, there were some shops doing that kind of stuff, that really full service, high level delivery. Anyway, I have like 10 years of client stories in my head, but I never wrote the book. Well, guess what? COVID has been that opportunity for me to actually live it myself. My clients who are working with me, I was giving a lot of helpful information just to help keep their top mind awareness in front of their clients. So I was doing a lot of giving to help support our industry. This right here is giving. Yeah, sure. Maybe if you feel like working with me someday, that would be great. But that's not really the ask. The ask is I want to share my knowledge so I can help you succeed, whether you work with me or not. I don't care. But the point is, is that I've got this three-part webinar. It's free. That is starting on June 24th, and then it's following up on July 8th and July 22nd. So if you want to, you can go to my Rockstar Marketing website, and you can go to the, the trainings, and you can look for the Register Here button for the Give to Get webinar. And then I also am putting together a virtual summit in August. It's going to be really, really, really cool. I've got some heavy hitters that are going to be presenting. I've got Ryan Klo, uh, who's a coach and a shop owner, two shops. From Cincinnati, Ohio. He's the first speaker. I've got Rena Renabon. She's going to be speaking on the following day. Rob Rossell, who has four, soon to be going on five shops, and he's a coach as well. We've got Jeff Irvine, who's an old friend of mine, a long time, long time buddy. He and I have worked for years together, and he does a lot of marketing, uh, Facebook ads, that kind of stuff. We got Mike Delacruz, who is now with Broadly. He's going to be speaking, and then I'm going to wrap it all up with uh, another really cool topic. 
uh, on the final day. So this is going to be something that I'm still creating. We're still working on this, but if you would like to be alerted as to what's going on in our virtual summit, it is called Mastering Your Crisis Proof Business. And the goal is for you and your team to sit around the computer and see this. And we're gonna be charging by the computer. And I also have some VIP passes that are gonna be available. We're still setting it up, but if you're interested in it, please send me an email, jenniferfilzen at gmail.com, or go on to my website, rock-star-mktg.com, and then you'll see all of my stuff. But truly, guys, I hope this was valuable. I love you, and for that, I will stop talking. Well, Jennifer, um, I, I wanna thank you very much for your presentation today. It was fantastic. Thanks for taking the time and, and talking to us. And, um, uh, myself and ASA wishes you a great day. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll Thanks, stay on Jennifer. if anybody has any questions for me, but thank you so much, guys. I really, I love this industry. I love you, and I look forward to hugging you when we can all see each other again. Perfect. <laughs> I look forward to it, too.